I want to switch gears. I know we have one more to discuss, which is selling, okay? Or, uh, but I want to save that one for a little bit later because I, I want to switch and uh, uh, let's go to a personal side for a moment. And uh, uh, I'm going to ask you, Josh. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like talking personally. <laughs> so how did you decide to become an accountant? And at the time, he was a CA, and I'm also very curious about, you know, uh, that transition from CA to CPA, and what, what does that meant? Well, but that's, that's boring, but uh, we'll, we'll... Well, I want to hear him answer that one. <laughs> yeah. I want to see if he can turn that one into something entertaining. <laughs> CA, CA is a shock of the boost. Why did I... So, I fell into this job. I took this job, actually, not know. It was a summer student position. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, best friends with one of the sons of another of a partner at the time, and you know needed a summer job. And he said, "Hey, we're hiring. Do you want to come?" And I, I happened to be good with numbers, so I figured it's an accounting firm. I'll I'll play with numbers. And this um, is and I had after, no idea. After university, this, this is, is in this university? is I was in undergrad. I was doing a BCom. I was uh, second year. first year, second year, year. B, yeah, second year BCom. And uh, and it was it was uh, I said okay it's a summer job it's May fifteenth August fifteenth I'm not committed I, if I don't I'm like not it committed. I can walk I, you know it's it's uh, the, the firm you know it was uh, you know big firm we were twelve summer students that year so it was post post merger too it was it was post <laughs> post a merger that's right uh, and uh, and I had no idea that I wanted to do this so I went through the summer and there was actually some aspects that were quite interesting the people aspect. But the, the business aspect, because what I did have a good idea that I wanted to do with my life is I did want to be, I did want to own a business. I didn't know what I was going to sell. I didn't know if it was service or product or whatever. I, I had that entrepreneur in my mind. I wanted to own my own business. Uh, I was still, I was 20 years, 20, 20 21 could, years can old. Can I ask you what, what influence you had? That, that, like, what, what, um, what did your parents do? Let's start with that. My, my, uh, my dad, uh, had a printing shop with my stepmother. My parents were divorced when I was young, and my mom uh, basically ran her own business, administering condominiums. So they had their own so small the businesses, background. but they weren't professionals. Okay, they had their they had their own respective businesses in two different, completely different aspects. Uh, and actually, my dad's business was not that great, so it wasn't exactly you know <laughs> flourishing, uh, flourishing and, and and a big enticement. Yet it was still you know on my own, uh, like I would have thought of been on my own with ideas. And then I got to work one summer here at uh, at the time Fuller Jenks Landau, and I said, you know what, I'm getting to see other businesses and how they operate. So wait a sec, you know, one plus one equals two and a half, and and I said, let's, I know that I'm going to make a ton of mistakes if I go out there. Why don't I stay and learn from other people's mistakes, other entrepreneurs' mistakes, so I don't repeat their mistakes? I said, so you know what? What better place to do that than in a firm that services entrepreneurs? Uh, you go and you see their numbers, you analyze their financial statements, you see up and down, you're part of discussion and strategy meetings, which I was fortunate to be part of. and. Yeah, they screwed up here, they did that great there. It was a great opportunity. So moving up the ranks is you get to learn more and more. And then at some point it was, okay, well, maybe right time, right place with a little bit of, of hard work and, and gumption, if I can use that word. Make it sound old. Moxie. Moxie. I didn't go that far. Wow. Uh, and uh, and it was just, do you, you have to throw do you, funky and maybe cool? Yeah, right? no, no, I have to sideburns have to go a little further. Uh, dude. Uh, and uh, and then it was like, well, do you want to become a partner? And at the time, and this was a transitional time when Mike was a partner a year before me uh, with a few others, but it was, hey, now I can <coughs> still work with people, I can still learn from others, I can be a partner and own a piece of the business. Uh, every day is different. Uh, I get to learn, So, and it was with a group of people that I, I truly loved and respected.